Merry Christmas and welcome everyone to this gathering at BHB UMC. We've gathered to praise and worship the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We're glad that you're here. I don't want to brag, but um, we have, Karen and I have one of the best evening views out our picture window. That's the view of the church, especially at this time of the year, the snow covering and the crash out front and the church lit up. And sometimes when we're away from home and we come home in the evening, it's such a welcoming uh, feeling to drive up the road and see those lights. There's a warming sense, a homecoming sense. And I, and I feel like maybe for many of you, that's what coming to worship tonight, Christmas Eve, is too. And I'm praying tonight that as we celebrate the birth of Christ into our world who has come to save us, that Christ would not remain a child in our hearts, but he would mature and grow to fullness as, as his desire is for each one of us. I know that some of you come with challenges some of you come with burdens. Some of you are having struggles, even today on Christmas Eve. Last Sunday, we had to cancel church because of the, what we thought was going to be a lot of snow and cold, bitter wind chills. It wasn't quite as bad. But that benefits you tonight because the kids were going to be doing their program last week. There's some scriptures that talk to this. All things work together for good for those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Consider it pure joy when you face trials of many kinds. In everything, give thanks, for this is God's will for us in Christ Jesus. Last week's cancellation meant that you get to experience the children's program tonight. I can see smiling faces. You're appreciative of that, and so are we. I invite you now to join me as we pray together. God, I pray for this gathering as we come with hearts expectant of your presence being birthed anew in our lives tonight. Each Christmas, a new setting. Each Christmas, new things and challenges in our life and in our world. And yet the one solid constant is you, Jesus. We come celebrating you. God, we pray that you would bless this gathering, that you would bless each one here, that your spirit would come to fruition in our lives. Amen. With that, I want to invite you to stand and to extend the love of Christ to one another. I invite you, as you're able, to continue to stand if you're able, and we will join together in this responsive reading found in your bulletin. God, you sent your son Jesus into a dark and sin-filled world. Jesus had to shed his glory, leave his heavenly home, and become human. Emmanuel, God is with us. Jesus now stands knocking at the door of your heart, longing for you to invite him in, giving him a place to call home. Is your heart prepared? Is your heart prepared for a king? Every heart prepare him room. You may be seated.
At this time, I invite the Gerke family to come and light our Advent candles. As we prepare our hearts to receive the, the Christ child on this holy night, we light the fourth candle on the Advent wreath and remember the great gift that God has sent to us, his son Jesus. We place the Nativity Square on our banner, which re represents the stable where the baby Jesus was born and the manger where he was placed on a bed of hay because there was no room for them at the inn. We also place the Mary symbol on our banner. Let each of us be as Mary, humble and obedient, one who opened her heart to God's holy plan. Let us to be faithful, courageous servants who will say as Mary did, I am the Lord's servant. It may be to me as you have said. Thank you, Gierke family. And Merry Christmas to everyone. If you'll stand and follow along in your bulletin, we will join together in the call to worship. For unto us is born this day a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. It is almost more than we can grasp. This God moment was for us. This child born to die was sent to save us from our sins. That was God's plan. Even on that day of birth, the shadow of the cross covered the manger bed as Jesus began his journey to Calvary. Praise God for the wonderful plan of salvation. Praise God for his lavish love. Praise God, the Savior is here. And let us join together in prayer. Father God, we come humbly into your presence, thanking you for showing us love through the nativity of our Lord Jesus. We pray for understanding as we celebrate this holy season. We pray for the inner peace that comes when we accept the gift of Jesus into our own hearts. We praise you for the beautiful way you sent the Savior and for the opportunities we have to share the good news of Christmas with others. Let us do so with gladness and praise. Amen. And if you'll find in your red hymnals and turn to page 251, we will sing verse 3 of Go Tell It on the Mountain. And please keep the aisles clear. We're going to have a procession of the children.
While Mary was praying, an angel came saying, You will have a baby. This Jesus will bring much joy. Mary and Joseph to Bethlehem came. No room, the innkeeper did say, but come to my heart, Lord Jesus, there is room in my heart today. An angel told Mary that Jesus would come. Joseph helped Mary take care of the son. Shepherds came quickly, the baby too great. Wise men keep riding on Christopher, Christ child to me. In a lowly stable far across the sea, there was born a baby who loves you and me. Jesus is my shepherd, I'm his little lamb, and I know he loves me little as I am. Bethlehem was still and sleeping, shepherds faithful guard were keeping, shepherds in the field were gazing, little lambs were calmly grazing, around the shepherds shone a light, they saw God's angel shining bright. The angel voice rang out, rang out to them, Christ is born in Bethlehem, angels singing filled the sky, Glory be to God on high. Peace on earth, goodwill to men. Oh, hear the joyful song again. Come, you shepherds, leave your sheep. The major find, the baby seek. Run quickly, shepherds, with great joy. Kneel before the heavenly boy. On the hay where they found him sleeping, Mary, Joseph, watch for keep. All is well. All is well. Angels and men rejoice. For tonight, darkness fell into the dawn of love's holy light. All is well. 
all is well. Let there be peace on earth. Sing Alleluia. Sing, sing Alleluia. All is well. All is well. Christ has come, now go and tell that he is in a manger in Bethlehem. Sing Alleluia. Sing, oh sing Alleluia. All, all is well. All is well. Lift up your voice and sing. Born is now Emmanuel. Born is our Lord and Savior. And sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. Born this night in Bethlehem. Born as our Lord and Savior. Sing Alleluia. Sing. Sing Alleluia. All is well. as well. Dark sky shined a star. Wise men watched it from afar. Wise men by the star were led to the Christ child's lowly bed. Wise men on camels, strong and tall, rode far to seek a baby small. Kings from eastern lands afar followed in faith the Noel star. To Bethlehem it led the way, to the place where Jesus lay. Gifts they offered him most rare, worshipped at his cradle bare. Gold and incense sweet they bring, treasures for the infant king. Little hearts we offer now, little knees before thee bow. Please join us as we sing together number 221, verse 4, In the Bleak Midwinter.
what joy the baby greet. Come, O oh, come, kneel at his feet. Hearts we bring to show our love. Praises sing to God above. Sleep, my Jesus, while an angel sing. Sleep, my Jesus, my Lord and King. Wolf. Enter every heart and home. Dearest Jesus, with us stay. Bless the children here today. Oh, tell the children from the earth the story of the Christ child's birth. We'll sing the angels with the angels up above to tell the story of our love. Please join us as we sing together Joy to the World, number 246, verses 1 and 2. Let's give another round of appreciation for our storytellers tonight. At this time, I would invite the ushers forward. Um, this is our opportunity tonight to uh, praise God and worship Him by bringing our tithes, gifts, and offerings. With the ushers, please come forward.
Thank you, Shalom. I invite you to join me as we pray together to the giver of every good and perfect gift, the prayer found in our bulletins. Father, we thank you for the precious gift of your Son, Jesus. Receive our offerings as expressions of gratitude to the one who is Savior and lover of our souls. We open our hearts, inviting him to come in and dwell with us. On this Christmas night, we humbly bow before the Lord most holy. Amen. I invite you to join me as we sing, O Come All Ye Faithful, verses 1 and 3, number 234. And at this time, I invite the Rodenschmidt family to come and write, light our Christ candle tonight. We now light the white Christ candle in the center of our Advent wreath, proclaim, proclaiming that God's wonderful plan is at the center of all our celebrations. We remember that through Christ, the true light came into the world and overcame the darkness. Jesus is the light of the world. He who follows him will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. We also place the candle symbol on our banner, which represents the light of Christ. The everlasting light has come into the world. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. This is our time where we get to pass the light of Christ to one another as we sing together Silent Night. And those words are found in the back of your bulletin.
Jesus is the light of the world. Those who follow him will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Our prayer, my prayer for you, is that this Christmas season, as Jesus is born in your heart, that you would fill this world with his light as you go from this place. Receive God's blessing now. God, I thank you. We thank you that you were mindful of our condition and that you, Jesus, humbled yourself and became man. God, man, with all of our weaknesses, yet full of God's glory. Help us to walk in your light every day of our lives. Bless your people now and forever. Amen. I'm going to go out, Karen.